Um, but you, so you famously will only work with a girl if she does anal. Are there any other stipulations? Not only, oh, but, really? Uh, but they gotta be willing to do it in the future, and you can always figure out if they're gonna do it. Right. Yeah. What? Well, she would have gotten around to it. Who? Carly. Carly Gray. Yeah. Right. She never did it. She was about it. to, and then, and then she went and made I, a baby. No, that's oh, not a spoiler. We had four of them have kids like over a period of like three months last year. Really? Is yeah. that a nightmare? Like normally people are pretty happy for a girl when she gets pregnant. For you, yeah, it's like, God that's... damn it. The thing is, honestly, we have like a lot of girls want to be on the site. Hmm. So if one of them leaves. It's like I have a bunch waiting to get on there now. And, and you know, I need space. <laughs> so if one of them leaves, you know, it sounds kind of cool, but they're replaceable. Right. Damn. But so yeah, if a girl reaches out to you, but then she's not down to do anal, what what is your attitude, or how can you they tell? They better be you... like Lana Rhodes looking. Mm. And she ended up doing it too. <laughs> but no, the thing is, I ask them a bunch of questions. Like I said, I want to be a pervert. But like I tell girls all the time, when you I ask you a question, it's not the answer; it's the moment before the answer. What do you so mean? If you say to the girl, is, "Are you you know do you do anal? No. Will you ever do anal? No." Then they will. Right. But if you, will you ever do it? No. What? Ten grand? Would you do the scene for ten grand? Mm, no. Yeah, they will. Right. But if they like, um, Jen, uh, no, Jenna Sativa. We, she said, "Would you do guys? No. Would you do a guy for ten? No. Like right away. You know, she's never gonna do it. So guy. you knew she was real. Yeah. Right. But um, but most of them also, even if they say no in the beginning. They're hanging out with all our girls who are talking about anal and douches and enemas and this and that. And, and eventually to them, it's like, ah, I, don't, I don't know why I thought it was a big deal. And they, they end up doing it anyway. And talk to girls all the time, too, who seem to think that anal is actually better than doing vaginal because, you know, there's less bacteria. There's less crazy stuff. I mean, I had on. girls when I was first in this business saying that, and I didn't believe it, but, you know, I'm not a anal kind of guy. But, uh, <laughs> But someone would say, oh, it's better than vag, and, 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 and I guess it's true. I mean, you know, a lot of them prefer the anal. Do you have a sort of similar mentality when it comes to stuff like double penetration? Is that like a must if a girl really wants to go far in the industry? Well, they don't have to, but also a lot of the girls have said, you know, of their own volition that they prefer, once they've done it, they prefer the DP to the anal. Right. I mean, you tell that to a new girl, and they're like, nah, nah. But like I said, they I mean, I remember I was in a Uber ride to the uh, Pornhub Awards, uh -huh. and just the crap that was coming out of these girls' mouths. One talking, and the Uber guy was like from Russia. We had uh, ten girls in the car. Oh man! And he's like, and like, yeah, and I was cleaning out, and I crapped all over this, and this guy fucked me ass, and I was blowing it. And to them, but the girls like, it's kind of like a little family, and, but they hang out. I guess if they don't want to do anal in the beginning, after a while they just. Why not? It's not a big deal. They're all do you know, it just it becomes normalized. It might seem like a big deal when you're on the outside world, but once you get deep into the industry, then it's just uh, the most fun. normal thing in the world. <laughs> <laughs> like I tell good. the girls, you know, anal is just like riding a bicycle, only without the seat. Mm. But there's the whole cleaning process and everything. I, like that's I don't even want to know about that. They, they tell each other. I don't even want to know about that. Yeah. It just seems so unlikely that a guy who's not terribly interested in watching porn or banging all the girls would end up in a position of such power. But you I might guess that be able to do a better job. It's like being a doctor. If you look mm. at it clinically, you know, you're not personally involved in whatever. You might be able to do a better job. Yeah, I feel like being a gynecologist would probably ruin vaginas for me for sure. I don't know, you might appreciate some better than the others, yeah. No, definitely. Yeah, you can appreciate the structure, integrity, structural integrity. No, but I mean, that's the same thing with me interviewing all these rappers. It's like once you really know what's going on in the music industry, it becomes kind of hard to just see a song for a song. It's not just, oh, that sounds nice. No, you start thinking about, oh, so the label put this guy with this guy because they wanted to, you know, you just, yeah. it adds a lot more texture no, to it. No, there's a lot of that, yeah, here too. There's why, who's put with whom in what movie and at what time of the year and why. Mm. And, yeah, because a lot of people are vying for like awards and you know, so you you always why there's always like politics behind politics behind politics. What are your thoughts on the dynamics of like the interracial thing where girls get into the industry and they maybe don't want to do that? Is that still the standard? Not really. I mean, I've only had I think one girl that never did interracial. Uh, 
But and that was because she was Italian and her family would kill her. But usually it's just that they don't want to, you know, do it. But um, also, like, unlike other agents or other models, we don't charge extra. You don't for no. Oh, okay. I thought that that was just industry standard. Was no. that so? So, do you think that there's a large percentage of the fans that? are going to be bothered by a girl doing interracial these days? Here's the thing. I tell a girl, if you start doing a, a bunch of your fans are going to you know, start calling you names. And blah, blah, blah. But you will gain a lar- much larger segment of fans right. for doing interracial. Yeah, all the black guys, number one, are going to... If you never sleep with a black dude, all these black guys are going to be looking at her like, fuck her, like, what the hell is her problem? Oh, yeah, and also, I mean, can you imagine being a black guy and, the, and you're the director and you're the talent and the girl wants more to work with you? Right. There it goes. Do you has Viagra had a negative impact on on the game or in terms of the male talent? I don't know because I I don't know who's taking it, but I'm sure most of them are. And then also, you know, a lot of guys are shooting their dicks up. Yeah, that's the crazy thing. I saw that on on a behind the scenes once, like ten years ago. A, I would never. I mean, I I don't mind getting my blood drawn or whatever, but I could never stick myself with a needle in the arm, let alone in the dick. Right. But. Um, I seen it once, and I don't, I don't know how they could do that. And then a lot of guys doing that end up having to get implants because you know scar tissue builds up. Right. And eventually, that's not working. Wow, scary yes. stuff. I can see why you don't want to work with the male talent. <laughs> and whenever anybody asks who's on our girls' no list, I say basically me. <laughs> but we're not big on no lists either how important are oh you're not big on no lists you know you try to stay away from that you gotta be professional i mean unless somebody did something really wrong right you know whatever girls use the no list as kind as, of a way to London, be petty as i used to tell london keys and she would always say back to me this is not a dating service right so that's but i mean there's got to be some dudes out there who are just who have done th- stuff that's so offensive to the girls that they're just not, not into really it i mean there's like Back in his time, Max Hardcore, but we would never book girls with Max Hardcore. Right. And I remember seeing that in high school and being amazed, disgusted, every, yeah, so many emotions. And that's not a good like look for your career. And uh, back then, Rob Black, they just have people doing really weird, crazy stuff. That's not good for you. So, but that's not a particular male talent. There's, um, you know, there's like a couple that would creep the girls out a little. Mm. Um, there is. And uh, and there's also like some that like there's one male talent who's actually a decent male talent, but he's a, a big partier. Mm. And I don't want to be like some of these other ages where you're banned from working with our girls. But I tell people if they want to book this one particular guy with our girls, um, if he doesn't show up, if he shows up with a bad test, if he sneaks out in the middle of the scene, which he all to go do drugs or something. Yeah. He did that to A.J. Applegate. <gasps> the guy like, oh, I'm going to the bathroom. and climbed out the window and left. The and, window. Uh, so I told him, I, I won't ban him, but if he doesn't finish the scene with the girls, it's 100% kill fee. Mm. You want to hire that guy? You want to take a chance on it? If he don't make it to the thing, then you know, you're know you going to pay the girl the whole rate. you got to have an amazing dick to get away with that. He's got a big dick, and like, it's a big cum shot, but still the guy's just, he's a meathead. <laughs> And, 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 and a druggie. Right. How um how important are the awards to you? To me? I mean, it's good to have girls win a bunch of awards. Just I because mean, it helps the business? Is that the only reason you care about it? Yeah, for the girls to make... I mean, at one point, our girls win a way disproportionate share of awards. I know. You've been and accused of uh, sort of cheating the system as well. Yeah, I was going to say, yeah. but they, they hired an astrophysicist. <sighs> To figure out the odds that Spiegel Girls would win the uh, right the awards like five years in a row, and it was one in one point zero four eight million. <laughs> but the higher net. I mean, I I'm, like I said, I'm an economist. I took statistics. According to the the people that said that there's like sixteen agents, which I don't think there is. But also, if you say one in sixteen times one in six, five times, it's one in one point zero four eight hmm. million. But um, but also when you do statistics. There's a Latin phrase, sedibus paribus. All other things remaining equal. Mm. The agents are not equal. The girls are not equal. The shoots are not equal. So, you know, like I said, we try to plan out. We try to get the better girls in the better shoots, the ones that are kind of being shot for the awards and showcases and this and that. It's like not just booking them jobs. It's kind of an overall plan. Mm. And, I mean, you have the power to sort of market the girls in a sense. like to, And, and I mean... 
that doing that kind of survey, I could never really account for the fact that you are a person who has taste and you're going out of your way and you're doing it exactly how you want it to be done. It's not like this is some randomized thing. No, and like I said, because of the fact that, you know, I don't need the money and the girls know when they will show up on time. Like, if, uh, you know, uh, Wicked or, or, I don't know, some big company is doing a feature movie that they want at Funny Awards, they'll tend to hire our girls because they're well-known, but they also will hire them because they know they will show up. You, you know, if you have a feature, and usually our girls are the first on the call sheet because they don't want everybody to get behind and... Mm run late and stuff so a lot of our girls get in there because they're good but also because they're really reliable like i've only had like i said three girls ever flake on a shoot right that's amazing um i mean i had awesome i remember when by the way about answering the phone all the time when she started with me i answered the phone 24 hours a day and i remember she like a month or two and she got food poisoning and she texted me at 4 45 in the morning and she was surprised i called her right back mm. and then i replaced her in the movie but, you know, the companies appreciate the dedication. 